Hi, this is continuing on from um, our last unboxing of a 48 volt uh, 3000 EHV from Signature Solar. It's the inverter that we're using to pair with this monstrosity on the card. Um, which is the uh, EG4 Life Power 4 uh, 5 kilowatt hour battery, um, rack mountable with all the bits that basically go with it. Um, so this is not going to be particularly exciting, I'm sorry to say, um, but uh, we just wanted to try and document what we're doing and talk a little bit about why we're doing it and and uh, going along the ways. For the trolls out there, um, I'm not an expert at this, uh, and so therefore anyone who's looking for technical information, this is probably not the place to go uh, or the place to be. I just wanted to, to clarify that because we had a few few comments from some people um, uh, maybe looking for, for information. You better go into the dealer sites and you better go into the YouTube channels that we have mentioned and I will mention again to do with uh, solar. Um, I highly recommend Will Prowse and uh, David Poz are the two that, that are my regular go-tos for, for solar related stuff. But there are plenty of others out there. Anyway. Uh, for those uh, friends and family and, uh, and others who are interested in what we are doing um, and why we're doing it, uh, as I said, Life Power 4 battery, 5 kilowatt hours, and um, it's going to be a heavy beast, so uh, we're going to go, go from there. I'm just going to try and cut this open without cutting my, cutting my sinews in the process. Uh, the cost of this battery is about $1,500 rack mounted. Signature Solar also have an LL series battery. Um, if I remember correctly, I believe they're on generation two of that, but you can still get the generation ones. They're a little more, a little more expensive, around $1,700, um, $1,800. The generation two LL batteries, I will add, actually do have a heating pad. So if, if you're looking at um, the EG4 uh, brand, and you're looking for something that actually is a little more resilient uh, in super cold weather, those might be one to look at as well. But there are other brands that are doing the heating pad. As I have mentioned, we went with EG4 uh, because we want an EG4 to EG4 solution um, just to keep things uh, communication-wise working in, in, in sync. Uh, the battery itself is uh, not light. And um, I'm not even sure how I'm going to get this out of here. I'm going to have to get Dawn to come and give me a hand with this one or risk, uh, risk losing something. Let's just get all the bits and bobs out. So, screws, definitely keep. And this thing is, is really quite tightly put together. Um, comes with some battery cables. As I mentioned in my last video, having battery cables is a, is a good thing. Um, these cables, just given the size of them, are probably, geez, I'd be, be happy to say that these are really um, battery to battery cables for daisy chaining them, but we only have one, so we'll take what we can get. And this thing here is just going to be super duper 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 heavy. Um, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this, Dawn. We'll best kind of lift this out carefully or lift it in the bag oh wait you have another cable here oh more, a bit more cable <laughs> all right okay that. so this thing is really quite tightly packed so that's that's one of the communications cables yeah let me show anything else tucked down here <laughs> yeah Not on this side no all right so we've got, got some packers i'm gonna pull these these packers out these are wrapped around the battery case so. makes sense and if the video doesn't come out and looks too too clownish, uh, we will of course delete it and we'll do another one which is after the unboxing. So um, this is just kind of how it is. Yeah. I think I think we might be better off sending it on its edge. Yeah, quite possibly. I just I don't want to do any damage to this thing and I really want the battery up on the uh, cart. So, right, right. Um, uh, I was just thinking since this is the top from the lettering on the box, we'll pull it your way and I'll tip it this way and I'll just... Yeah, just to you make sure that you off. don't, we're not touching um, terminals and stuff as well. Yeah. Oh goodness, I can get my fingers under it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely a base. It might be a case of uh, cutting the box away from the battery. Yeah, that actually could be, could be the, 
could be the deal too. Mm -hmm. All right, let this do that. Um, I know that Will uh, Prowse basically recommends battery lifters um, for a reason because he does a lot of his stuff on his own, um, and uh, you know these things are not are not light. Um, I said it's a five kilowatt hour battery. It's uh, lithium phosphate technology, so LFP. Um, the duration of this thing, I believe, is about, or from a longevity perspective, is about 10 to 20 years until we get to that that um, magic 80% mark, which means you know the battery is not not holding 100% charge; it's holding 80% charge. For anyone who's ever suffered from a an iPhone or or an Android, you know, battery life issue where you've got to replace them every few years, it's because they tend to be lithium ion, and they don't have as many. They don't have as many cycles. Yeah, got a plate here. Oh, okay. <laughs> More brackets. So I was wondering why my knife wasn't cutting. <laughs> yeah, that's probably because this is actually designed to go into a rack. Yeah. Um, we tend to, we intend to get a rack for this, uh, but we have a just the one battery at the moment. We opted not to not to spring spring for it. For the next one. Yeah. If you've got the money, Signature do um, do have some deals at the moment which are um, which are on um, fully populated racks with six of these uh, batteries, 30 kilowatt hours in, in total, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to try to slide this to the right and then give us enough room to the box down. Yeah, we don't even need to throw this out. Let's um, turn this around for video purposes and okay. just leave it in the bag. Okay. Then if you want to share the ports. Yeah, I just want to unbag this and just quickly have a look. Get a knife handy. Yeah. All right. So. I'm just going to leave this bag on for this this video and we're going to pull this apart. Um, but this is the front. These things are basically rack mounted as you can see with the handles here and yeah that is a, a heavy beast. It said 127 pounds, it was not kidding. Um, so lithium ferrous phosphate, more reliable, better longevity, safer battery options. Um, from what I've, from what research I've done so far, um, in terms of recyclability further down the line, 10 to 20 years, um, these things don't use as much in the way of rare earths and, and, and horrible components. So I think um, the actual batteries themselves are largely really quite highly recyclable, something that you cannot say about the batteries that are in your, your EV, which are full of cobalt and all manner of horribleness. Um, so the, uh, you know, the, the, the battery tech is, is Pretty robust. Um, downside is that there is still a price premium on them, but they are becoming more popular, so therefore they're uh, they're coming down. Um, I was reading an article today, actually, which is that uh, you know LFP batteries, China um, has uh, massive factories dedicated to building this these style of batteries, and in any one of those Chinese companies is like bigger than the whole of the comparable industry in the states at this this moment in time so we're just we're, we're 10 years behind however um this is what it is so yeah this is really really the beastie it's got all the communication ports the various tip switches and the like breakers and of course the the magic connectors which i'm not going to touch liberally because this is a 48 volt system uh, 51.2 nominal. Does um, have a safety shield there? Yeah, it does have a safety shield, which is a good good thing. Mm. Um, so if you're looking at 12 volt, 12 volts will give you a, a belt, but um, or a kick, but really won't won't do too much to you. 24 volts, when are you getting a little more uh, serious? If you if you if you get things wrong with that, then nothing to be too concerned about. But 48 volt systems, you do have to be a little respectful because. Um, if you do decide to put the current from this through you, it, it will stop your heart. And we know that that's not really a good state for human beings. So, um, yeah, just a little bit of little bit of respect when it comes to these. But anyway, um, I'm not going to belabor this. <laughs> and I'm not going to lift this thing up by any means or stretch um, until we're ready to actually do what we're going to do. 
Um, there's really not, not much to show on it. It's just a brick of batteries with a really nice CG4 logo on top, which sadly we're not going to get to see because the inverter is going to sit on top of it for a while. Um, and if you're in a rack, you're, you're not going to see the pretty logo on the panel. Um, and we will talk again soon when we actually get the stuff assembled and working and work through how we how we did it and um, um, how it's all going to be maintained and, and managed from there um, and whether the the highly theoretical nature of our remote control plans uh, actually works out in, in, in the long run. But anyway, I hope you found this briefly interesting and um, yeah, I'm actually quite excited to get this thing going because it's a beastie. So all good. As usual, any questions, comments, um, throw them in our comments below. Um, yeah, anything that we can do to kind of help out or provide answers to within our limited capabilities, by all means ask. If we don't know the answer, then we might be able to point you somewhere where you can get the answers. We're, we're happy to help uh, where we can. And uh, yeah, if anyone has any advice uh, or, or otherwise around these, these kinds of things, we're also happy to hear tips and, and tricks from others who are doing this as well. So, um, yeah, all good. Have a great day. Take care.